Esri vind ik een fantastische schilder. De manier waarop zij met haar broden omgaat, de stijl die zij hanteert. Het is een nieuwe stap in de schilderkunst. Mijn naam is Ronald Ophuis, schilder, kunstenaar. En ik ben de scout van uh, Esri, Erjen en Essie. I'm a collector or a hoarder. Like I like to collect a lot of images uh, that remind me of my own family photos because I was born in London, but my background, my family are from Nigeria. And you know, that's how I, both my grandparents died before I was like, I could remember them. And the way that I learned about my family history was through our, my own family photos. And then it was always me kind of creating stories and characters with my own family members that I never got to meet. So then I just always carried that on. And yeah, now I'm an artist. I get to kind of use that kind of same play and use more wider images. And before I used to use like lots of images that were in the popular mainstream culture. Like I painted the Kennedys, I painted, you know, things that, images that people knew. But I think in the last couple of years, I've been really interested in kind of private histories, kind of people that were behind the scenes, kind of, you know, no, that nobody knew. The work that I'm making for the Prix de Rome is kind of like a dream exhibition. I mean, that's how I kind of thought about it when I got asked you know, to put in a proposal. It's like, you know, I, I was thinking, what would I really love to do in the white walls of the Stedelijk? And I have all of these images, instamatic uh, images from Kodak and Polaroids that I've been collecting since 2016 of uh, people from the African uh, diaspora. It's like a whole plethora of uh, images. And I really just wanted to spend some time and just create uh, like a whole room and experience with these like kind of everyday banal boring images and kind of you know transport them into into these bigger tangible larger than life presences that they kind of come in and take up space like in this in this that look that people will kind of have to come in and kind of you know wonder or kind of figure out what is going on. Esri wilde eigenlijk journalist worden. Ze wilde daarnaast eigenlijk ook schilderen. En, uh, maar journalistieke verlangen heeft zij nooit uh, um, achter zich gelaten. Dus dat verwerkt zij nu nog steeds in haar uh, schilderkunst. Um, dus als een journalist uh, doet zij onderzoek. En dan vooral onderzoek naar beeldmateriaal. Um, en dat verwerkt zij in haar uh, schilderijen. En um, daardoor werkt zij ook met een, soort, met een tempo dat veel hoger is dan uh, waarin de meeste uh, schilders werken. Ze is meestal klaar binnen een week, waardoor ze ook heel veel verschillende bronnen snel kan aanboren, uh, snel kan behandelen, uh, kan verwerken tot, uh, tot schilderijen. Well, I always think of the painting as a, every painting that I make as a front cover of like a magazine or a newspaper. I'm always thinking, okay, what, what is going to go on, what information is going to be there to kind of, for the viewer to kind of come in and kind of, you know, have a part of the story or be able to, to understand it or decipher it. Well, painting, I'm obsessed with painting. Uh, I love painting. It's, it's, it's the most magical thing that I can think of. And uh, I think of it as, as the last kind of medium that you can play with. It's so, you, it has so many limitations, and I really kind of like that, that you just put it on the wall, you have to create one image, and it makes, you, it makes the viewer also have to stop and really think a little bit more of what they're seeing. There's no instruction in how to look at it. And that's what I really like about it the most, because then anything is possible. Ze is enorm goed op de hoogte van uh, allerlei maatschappelijke discussies. Zij uh, weet documentair materiaal, wat eigenlijk bijna niet gebruikt wordt voor de schilderkunst, uh, om te zetten in schilderkunst. En, uh, en ze maakt een hele mooie vertaalslag van uh, die bronnen die eigenlijk vrij anoniem zijn, vooral de laatste paar jaar, naar een fantastische schilderkunst.